How to create a website for selling shoes. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be walking you through how to create a website for selling shoes using Wix. Once on Wix.com, all you'll need to do is sign up using your email address. And why do I recommend that you use Wix? Well, it is beginner friendly. Also, you can get started for completely free. You do not need to add a credit card or any form of payment options. All you'll need is your email address, create a password, and that's it. So once on Wix, you'll quickly sign up and then you'll be led to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, all you'll need to do is tap on create new site. After you have tapped on create new site, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, all you'll need to do is type in shoe. So you're going to type in shoe right here. Then from here, you'll see different options. So you can quickly scroll down and whichever category best suits you, you can select it right there. For this example, I'll select online sneaker shop. After you have done that, you're going to tap on next. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page on which you can add the name of your store. So I'll name my store the plug. So I'll type in the plug right there. Then I'm going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you will see the different apps that are currently arbitrated will be added to your website. So you can see online store as we'll be selling shoes. You can also see chat as we'll need live chat to interact with our customers, our potential customers, if they should have any problems. And you can also see Instagram feed. As in this day and age, you definitely need your social media to push your store. So you can definitely add Instagram. And also if you want to add any subscription or so on, for example, if you want to collect customers' emails or so, you are going to tap on Forms right there. Then you can scroll down and you can see the different features that you can add as you can see right here. Once you have done that, you are going to tap on Next at the bottom of the page. After tapping on Next, you have a few options. You can either go directly to your dashboard or you could tap on Get a Custom Build Site. But the option that I would recommend you use is begin with a template. The reason why I recommend begin with a template is you'll see numerous examples of shoe stores that you can use right here. And the reason why we'll choose one of these templates is it's basically already done. So all you'll need to do is simply add your information or the products that you are planning to sell as they already create one with the design and so on. So for example, I'll be using this one. So I'll simply tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit, you will see the editor is preparing our website in the background. You are going to just give it a few seconds to load up. Attention to some stuff. The main thing I want you to pay attention to is the menu options on the left hand corner. For example, if you were to tap on add elements, it would lead you to this page right here. And from here, you'll be able to add text. Also, if you would like to add an image, you can do that. You can also use this section to add a button. Or for example, if you would like to add a hover box, all you'll have to do is tap on box, then select hover. And you'll see the different hover box options right here that you can add. So anything that you would like to add to your website, keep in mind, all you have to do is tap on the plus. Once you have selected the plus in the top left hand corner, it will lead you to add elements section and you can simply select what you would like to add. Whether you want to add a video or you want to add a contact form or anything like that. The another, thing that another thing that I would like you to pay attention to is pages and menu, which is the third option from the top left hand corner. By tapping on pages and menu, you'll see all of the pages that are currently on your website, as you can see right here. And also, if you would like to add a new page, all you have to do is tap on add new page. Now that we have done that, let me show you how it currently looks. So this is our home page, as you can see right here. 
Now to edit our home page, all you have to do is simply hover over the section that you would like to change. So let's say I want to change this section. All I have to do is tap on the section with the mouse that I would like to change. As you can see right there, then you will see the option quick edit. I'm going to tap on that. After doing that, you will see a new column pop up on the right hand corner. So if I would like to change the strip background, I can do that. Also, if I would like to change the image right here, I can do that by simply tapping on change. After you have tapped on change, you could choose another image. For example, you can see numerous images that you can choose from right here. Or I could choose to upload an image by simply tapping on image. Then you will be led to this page. And from here, I could choose an image or I could select upload image right here. For example, say just say I change it to, let me see right here. Just scroll down. So let me type in shoe right here. Then tap on enter so I can see the different shoe images. So let's say for example sake I change it to this image right here. Then tap on change background. You can see right there that the image has now been changed. And also if you would like to change the design meaning the text or so on. All you have to do is tap on the text box. And as you can see right here again in the right hand corner. You can change the text, you can also change the button as you can see right there. And if you would like to edit a particular page, all you have to do is go over to the top left hand corner, select page. Then from there you can select the page that you would like to edit. So let's say I would like to edit the men page. All I would have to do is tap on men. Then it is going to carry me to this section. And as you can see right here. This page is very beautifully outlined and designed. And by the way, to add products is quite easy. All you have to do is simply tap on the page right here. Then you'll tap on Manage Products. After you have tapped on Manage Products, you'll be led to this page on which you'll be able to add products. Page, if you have the products on hand, you could tap on New Product. And from there, you'll be able to add the photo of the product or video. But if you are planning to do some drop shipping, all you would have to do is go over to the left hand menu option. Then from there you could tap on find products to sell. Once you have tapped on find products to sell, you will be led to this dashboard. And these are the different apps that Wix recommends for drop shipping. So all you'll have to do is scroll down and you could select this app for example Modalis. And from there, you'll be able to search for various products to sell, as you can see right there. Or if you would like to use another app, all you'll have to do is tap on view more in the bottom right hand corner. And then that will carry you to the Wix app store. And from here, you'll be able to find numerous apps that you can use for drop shipping. All you'll have to do is simply tap on the search bar right there. Then from there you could type in drop shipping, then select drop shipping. Once you have selected drop shipping from here, you can select any one of these apps. A popular one that is being used on Wix and also on Shopify is Pocket. So all you'll have to do is tap on Pocket, and from there you'll be able to add products from AliExpress or so on. And another app that I also recommend that is completely free and very easy to use is Dizer. You can definitely use Dizer if you are planning to drop ship products from AliExpress. All you'll have to do is tap on this product right better yet. All you'll have to do is tap on Dizer. And then once you have installed the app, you will be able to search for products on AliExpress to add to your store. And that's it. Once you have added the products and so on. The next thing that you're going to do is go back to the top right here. And from here, we are going to hover over Wix and we are going to go back into the dashboard. So we are going to tap on save site. So let me save and continue. And we are going to go back into the dashboard and I'm going to show you how to set up your payment methods and so on. You could tap on that. 
or you could go over to the left hand menu option and right where you see billing and payment you could select payments from there after selecting payments you will be redirected to this dashboard and from here all i need you to do is tap on manage payment methods once you have tapped on manage payment methods from here you can set up your paypal you can also set up cxp so these are the different options that you'll be able to offer your customers to pay you with so all you'll have to do is tap on see more options and you can connect all of these payment methods to your store once you have connected all of these payment methods you are going to go back into home so we are going to go over to the top left hand corner and we are going to tap on home and from there all i want you to do now is right where you see set up shipping and delivery you are going to tap on that after you have tapped on that you will be redirected to this page and from here you will see add region so depending on where you want to sell your shoes so let's say for example you want to offer it worldwide all you'll have to do right where you see add region you'll tap right there once you have tapped on add region if you'd like to offer free shipping you can also do that as you can see right there or you can tap on add destination and you can add the various countries that you would like to offer shipping to and you can also exclude countries and if you would like to offer local delivery you can also do that and if you would like to add pickup you could also do that and you can add the estimated delivery time right here and you can add the delivery rate and once you're finished you're going to tap on save and that's basically it once you have done all of that all you'll have to do now is go back into home and i've shown you how to edit your website i've shown you how to add products i've shown you how to set up shipping so all you'll need to do now is simply scroll down and from there you'll tap on publish site or you could go back up to the top right hand corner and tap right where you see design site and once on the editor page all you'll have to do is tap on publish in the top right hand corner and that's it but before tapping on publish let me select preview so you can see how my site looks at the moment in the top right hand corner you can see how my shoe website looks at the moment as you can see right here this is it i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching